I just spilled my coffee. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bobby Angel with Ascension Presents, and uh, I was talking with a teacher friend of mine recently, and he said, you know, there's 1,440 minutes in a day, and that 15 minutes equals exactly 1% of your day. Literally, 1% of my day is 15 minutes. Do I even give God 1%? And so that was a great spiritual challenge to me, and I wanted to pass that on to all of you. Do we even give God 1% of our day? Can we give God 15 minutes of our time, whether that's in an adoration chapel or some quiet time in the morning. Um, many of the saints have said that first thing in the morning is the best time of day before it gets up and going and, and life gets crazy. Give God the early morning. That wake up, St. Jose Maria Scriva called it the heroic minute to get up as soon as your alarm goes off the first time. Don't snooze it 30 times like I do, but to get, get up, get on your knees, just go to a different room of the house and even if you're kind of just groggy, give God that first 15 minutes of the day. Archbishop Fulton Sheen swore by a personal holy hour first thing of his day. And I think every day of his priesthood, except for maybe one, he made that holy hour. And that was drilled into us as seminarians that you, your work will be... Um, you know, just spinning your wheels in ministry if it's not God doing the work through you, if you're just trying to muscle it yourself. I know that Bishop Barron also swears by the holy hour first thing in the morning, just brings a, a cup of coffee with him to his time of prayer because the day gets crazy. And um, now maybe you're a night owl. Maybe you're more attentive and alert and your prayer would be a little more quality at night. Well, do it, but actually make time for it. Don't say, I don't have any time. You have plenty of time. We all have the same amount of time in a day. But where are your priorities? What are you giving priority to? So if you're more attentive in the afternoon or later, be sure you set that time and protect that time. Schedule that time in and don't let anything interrupt it. Like, this is my time to pray. And so um, don't do it right before bed where, again, if you're like me and you get tired and you just drop off the face of coherence and you become a troll, don't wait till then to pray. Do it a little bit earlier in the evening. Put off Netflix or any streaming till then. Don't make excuses. Don't make rationalizations. Uh, if I say I'm too busy, that's not going to fly with, with God. Uh, I'm too busy for you, Lord. Let's Come on, come on. I heard it said once, you should pray 15 minutes a day. And again, that is 1% of the day. But if you're busy, you need to pray 30 minutes a day. The message being, if you do have a lot on your plate, there's a lot of stress going on, there's a lot you're trying to juggle, all the more you need God's grace. All the more we need to put first things first, as C.S. Lewis said, because prayer is usually the first thing that goes um, when it comes to the stress of work, of family, of whatever other activities I'm trying to juggle. Usually prayer is like, we don't see immediate results. So some uh, that's often like, well, that'll be the first thing that goes. And then I wonder why everything else is kind of spinning and I'm super stressed and things are out of focus and I'm falling into temptation. And it's because I haven't put first things first. I haven't put my prayer first, which out of that will come the fruits that will bless. And I will have time for everything else. I, I know it up here. And even I struggle with actually practicing it. Give God the time of prayer. Give him that time of my full attention that he... he wants to just fill us up. He wants to just have us overflowing with these graces and the, and the, the gifts of the Spirit. But we're so like, yeah, I, I, yeah but I got I don't have time, Lord. I got, I got a lot going on. Come on, let's not make excuses. I promise you, you will quietly grow in patience, in joy, in uh, clarity and wisdom. If you give God daily time of attention, if we just give Him 1%, 1% where we're really dialed in, if my thoughts are starting to go other places, just like bring it back in. Like don't just shut your prayer down automatically. Our imaginations are good things that, again, sometimes I'm thinking of things or sometimes I'm even thinking of people that um, I need to pray for or people that randomly pop into my head. And I absolutely believe that's God's way of um, sometimes using the Holy Spirit to, to have us reconnect with certain people or if someone's going through something, God will give us that, that insight or that word of knowledge to say like, okay, this guy needs prayer right now. I don't know, I haven't thought of this guy in years or we haven't talked, this friend and I haven't talked in a long time, but why am I thinking of him right now in prayer? 
I really believe that these are little Holy Spirit moments that it's not just random brain synapses firing. It's, it's like God's trying to dial you in and, and have you move in his life, in his being, so that we're attentive to those who need prayer. We're attentive to, um, again, the words he wants to speak to us. And the more we're in the word of God, the more we're in scripture, taking scripture to this 15 minutes a day of prayer. You will better hear the voice of God. You'll be, ever, be a, better able to hear him speak to you versus is this just me thinking it's God versus God's actual voice. The more we root ourselves in prayer, in, in making this time, the more we're going to be able to distinguish our crazy imagination um, and his, what he's trying to get through to us. If, it, if the scripture is indeed the living word, it's still living today. It's still something to share with you and with me today. So 1%, that's my challenge to you. That's my challenge to me. I'll be um, uh, in, in it with you. So let's pray for one another. If there's any other uh, tips or, or ideas that have helped you really get a good prayer routine, feel free to leave a comment down below. And uh, feel free to, to like, comment, subscribe. And from all of us at Ascension Presents, God bless.